believe it or not, people back here at the village have established ways of making good money for themselves. <laughs> to another video in the journey began with eva youtube series happy new year greetings from my village yes guys i'm still in the village but i'll be leaving in the next two or three hours yes my stay at the village has finally come to an end because we need to go back to the city and hustle anyways i've had a good time here at the village bonding with grandma catching up with my childhood friends whom i grew up with I went to my local church after a very long time. I dedicated this year to God. So this year is going to be a blessed year. So yeah, I've just been uh, resting and I've really had an awesome time here at the village. While here at the village, I have noticed some few things which I felt that it's good to share with you people because I might inspire or motivate or help someone to rethink about some of the choices they intend to make this new year and so as i've been moving around interacting with people just looking around seeing what has changed i've realized that modernization is slowly trickling down to the rural areas unlike 10 years ago when people used to uh, to go to the world to the well to fetch water these days people have tap water at their homes people no longer rely on paraffin to light their homes these days people have people have electricity people no longer use rely on firewood to cook their food these days they can supplement with cooking gas they have the improved charcoal jickles you know a lot has really changed thanks to modernization and also thanks to education because if you go to homes which have embraced education for the longest time you can notice a positive change people have big tanks at their home for harvesting rainwater i mean rural areas are really changing i've been really impressed by their positive progress which i've noticed in the rural areas which means that if things are not working out for you in the city, you can still go back to the village and identify something which can earn you a good living. I know some people have been known to leave highly paying jobs to go and start farming. Farming is a, a highly paying venture. If you stick to it and do it right, you do what you're supposed to do at the right time, You'll make good money out of it. I've seen how people are making good money here at the village. And I'm really challenged. So if you are having a hard time surviving at the city, and again these days jobs are limited, you'll go study, get your degree, get your degrees. Yes, because today there are some people who are still tamaki with more than, a, more than one degree. You can still go back to the village and make it. You can still go back and implement that education you have to establish a profitable uh, business venture for yourself back at the rural areas. Electricity is spreading everywhere these days across Kenya. Water is no longer a very big problem in most of the parts of the country. If you have water, you have electricity. I mean, you only need to sit down and strategize. Then you start making yourself some good money. You can still make a good living if you're living in the rural area. So let no one lie to you. Gone are the days which people used to be like, I have to go to the city to make it. No. People in the village have woken up. They have established ways of making money for themselves. I'll give you an example of a neighbor of mine who used to fetch water with a, with a donkeys. I think they were two donkeys. Is it donkeys or donkeys? English. 
Mm -hmm. He used to have two two of them, and uh, each jerry can of water used to cost twenty shillings. Mind you, he just used to wake up, um, uh, take his uh, two donkeys to the uh, to the well, go fetch water, then come and sell to the other people. He used to sell each jerry can at twenty twenty shillings. <laughs> Surprisingly. Uh, as uh, things have been changing, people now have started uh, putting tap water in their homes. So this guy came up with a new strategy because he realized that he was out of business. What did he do? He opened a shop. He opened a shop just somewhere next to, to my home, just somewhere around here. It's just in my neighborhood. So... Is this guy is a farmer he is a serious farmer if he measures on uh, farming veggies so whenever you go to his home like he can supply to the entire village you go to his home you'll find tomatoes you will find a uh, skuma wiki you'll find spinach you'll find a uh, cucumber anything you can think about as far as vegetables are concerned you see what I'm saying People in the rural areas have established ways of earning good money. So aside from farming, he opened a shop whereby he sells the same veggies he gets from his chamber or his garden rather at his shop. If you happen to walk in into his shop right now, it is fully stocked with everything to an extent that if you need a blanket, if it's too cold, you have not been at the rural areas for a while and you're like, it is too cold, I need an extra blanket. You can just walk comfortably to his shop and get yourself a blanket or even two of them. Because he has talked everything you can think about as far as a shop is concerned. If I need braids like this, like I could not believe it, guys. If I need braids like this, I'll just go there and get braids. Then uh, next to that shop, I saw an Mpesa shop. Like Mpesa services are all over this country. This is really nice. A lot, a lot has really changed for the bait. I've been here at the village for like a week and my experience has been awesome. I've been resting, I've bonded with my family members, I've interacted with some of them whom I had not seen for a long time. Christmas is always a good time to catch up with those family members whom you have not seen for a while. So I've had a good time here. I also had time to catch up with my childhood friends whom I grew up with, whom I went to primary school with. You know, sometimes it's always good to, to go back to your roots and uh, interact with the people there, see how people are doing interact with people share ideas interact with your neighbors see how everything is going down you know it's good to have a good social network and is west as they always say home is best so once in a while make sure that you go back to your roots make sure that you are in good times with your neighbors at a village you know this life this life is about people in the social structure in the society is very important so you need your immediate neighbors at the village you need to catch up with your childhood friends whom you grew up with you fill each others in on what has been happening you challenge each other you see what you can do to help each other social society structures are very important so once in a while make sure that you go back to your roots and uh, see what you can do if you are privileged enough see what you can do to help give back to the society to uplift those who are not yet uh, blessed like you are. So that has been my short experience here at the village. I hope you have been inspired, you have been motivated, especially if you are a youth, you've just cleared your education, you've just graduated and you're wondering what can I do with my life. You can still earn a good living from the village. Actually, you can start a uh, agribusiness and you'll be supplying to those people living in other city it is not easy surviving other city all of us cannot fit other city that's why 
some people have to remain in the rural areas and farming i repeat once again farming is a very profitable business venture if you do it right i hope you have learned something from this video make sure that you subscribe if you haven't subscribed share the video like the video leave a comment down below let me know whether you prefer life in the city or you prefer life back at the countryside life in the rural areas personally given an option i'd gladly stay at the village because it is so peaceful